Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me for another wonderful chair yoga flow. Today this will be a combination of mostly standing poses. We will have a few seated poses along the way, all of it supported with the chair. So no yoga poses where you need to get up and down off of the floor or even reach to the floor. Everything is really gentle for the whole entire body here today. We are going to be working on balance, foot, leg strength, joint health, and of course, strengthening the core while giving that low back and full spine a really nice relaxing stretch. Go ahead and grab your chair, clear some space. We're gonna get started with our practice right now. We'll start our practice here on the right side of the chair. And this is here to help us with our poses. Instead of reaching to the floor, we'll be reaching towards the chair and also give us some support as we work to balance through some of our standing poses. As we get started here, go ahead, open those feet hips distance apart, lift the toes and set them back out, stretching down, open the arms to the side, lift the heart and come broad through the collarbone, tailbone tuck just a little bit. And let's take a nice inhale, reach those arms up overhead. Exhale, open it back down. Again, inhale, take them up overhead. Exhale, open them down and this time, send those hips back, small forward fold here, hands coming to the tops of the thighs and then reach it, arching the back. I'll give you guys that sideways view. Back up overhead, inhale, exhale, stretch it out. Great job here. Try not to turn the hips, just wrap this right arm over to the left hip here. Inhale, open it out right arm to left hip slow gentle warm up here today inhale arms up overhead exhale forward fold to the thighs to the chair let yourself soften and relax here Inhale, pull it up, halfway fold. If you're not already hands on the seat of your chair and facing that direction, go ahead, find that here. Let's pull the shoulders back, stretch the heart forward. You can drop the belly and work through opening here, or you can just hold neutral spine. On your next exhale, take a nice big cat pose here. Inhale, open to neutral or cow. Exhale, big cat pose, tailbone tuck, stretch through that low back, wiggle it out here. Great job, soften through those legs, hands come back to the thighs as you roll the spine on up. Working with a reverse roll here, tuck the chin, pull those core muscles up and in, stretch and reach those hands on down to the legs or to the chair. And again, push from those feet to roll it back up, really recruiting core strength here. Great job. Turn and face yourself forward here. We are going to come to a nice strong mountain pose. Again, tailbone tuck. Watch out for that low back. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, drop the left hand. Reach this right arm over. Inhale, back up and open. Let's speed that up a little bit. Inhale, Exhale, right arm reaches to the left, up and open. One more time here. Inhale, up and open. Take it on down, three shoulder rolls back. Great job here, swish side to side gently. Again, focusing on loosening up the spine. Pause it here to the center, bring weight into the left leg. We'll start with easiest first, right toes to the floor. Find your balance here, arms go wherever they are most helpful for you. Little bit more challenging, bring that foot on up, connecting below the knee on this left side for tree pose here. 
Work to balance from that left foot and the core as you breathe and relax. Beautiful job here. Go ahead, set that on down and step back behind the chair. If you don't have a lot of space behind you, you can move the chair around, walk those hips back, stretch those arms forward. I'll go this way so you can see what we have going on. Pull the hips back, stretching these big back muscles here. Strong through the legs and of course, finding a little bit of a tailbone tuck there. Roll it on forward, bring it up, and we will step to the left side of the chair. Great job here. Again, plant through those feet, finding nice mountain pose. Inhale, take those arms up overhead. Exhale, drop the right arm, left arm reaches up and over. Inhale, take them up. Exhale, release, maybe a little bit faster this time. Inhale, exhale, bend. Inhale up, feel those core muscles warm up. Up overhead, last one here. Up and release, stand strong to that right foot. Modification here on this side if you need it. Sides of the body can be completely different. Start with left toes to the floor. Soft bend in the right knee, right hip slightly back and tucked. Hands available for the chair or wherever you need them. An option to bring the left foot up below the right knee. One more breath cycle here. Exhale, release it on down and we will again step back behind that chair. Give yourself some space, plenty of room here to move. We will step the right foot forward, left foot back, warrior footing here. So 12 o'clock and two or three o'clock through that left foot. You can drop down as much as feels comfortable through those lower body joints here. Arms extend out, good deep breath in. Exhale, warrior one, turn that rib cage forward. Exhale to two. One and two, great job here. One more time here. Bring it back to two and we'll come back to one. You can drop the fingertips to the chair if you need to. We will rotate that left foot in four, more of a crescent lunge stance, stretching through this front left hip. It should be gentle. The heel does not have to touch the floor, but work to get that back leg back and this right leg open. Send those right fingertips forward. Send body weight forward into this right foot. Good deep breath in. Your chair is here. Exhale, tuck. Inhale, open. If you would like, just step it to the front and tuck without lifting the left leg. One more here. Open, set it back down, turn those toes forward and out 45 degrees. Shimmy the hips side to side here. Things are getting warm. That is a good thing. Little bit of work here today. Hips go back, forearms fold to the chair. You can turn the toes all the way forward, press back into the hips, getting a nice stretch here. Hands can come to the seat of the chair. Work wherever you feel good here. We'll roll it back up and we'll turn the left toes. 12 o'clock, right toes will rotate somewhere between eight and 10. Ease yourself down, open it up. Warrior two, good deep breath in. Exhale, one 
and open. You can reverse the breathing pattern if you would like. Good deep breath in. Exhale. Moving from the rib cage here to gently strengthen those core muscles. Open it back here, hold. And we'll release those right fingertips to the chair. Turn that right foot forward, crescent lunge. Stretching through the foot, stretching through the hip. Take any modification here that you may need. Hopefully you can see my footing here. Send those left fingertips forward. Send body weight forward here into that left leg nice and strong. Good deep breath in and exhale, tuck. Inhale to open, great job here. One more time. Open and again, set it wide. Turn those toes forward, taking a wide stance. Move yourself around, get nice and comfy here. We're gonna drop to those left fingertips. Right arm is gonna fold here. You can heel toe in or step it further back if you need to. Right arm reaches through to the left. Good deep breath. Great job, inhale to open. Exhale, empty all that breath as you reach through. Inhale to open, really work from those core muscles here. Exhale, reach. Inhale, drop it on down, switch them out. Left arm drops here, reach it through to the right. Inhale to open, empty all the breath as you exhale, tuck it through. Continue here at the pace of your breath. Drop it on down, slowly roll it on forward. Great job here. We will go ahead and bring ourselves to have a seat in the chair, just working with a final few stretches here today. Give yourself that nice wiggle. Inhale, take those arms up overhead. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale up, two more to the right only. Work from those core muscles nice and strong. Exhale to the right. Left arm reaches up and open as you step that right foot forward, coming to seated warrior here. Drop the shoulders, breathe and relax. Revolve warrior here. Reach tall, back bend, you can skip that if you need to. Extend it over, left arm reaches. Two more times. Revolve, extended side angle. From here, lower that left arm back forward, step the right leg through. We're gonna come to nice toes here. Leave them connected. Lift this left leg. Make sure that you are really grounded through those hips to your chair. Lean yourself back, open up here. And maybe you extend the right leg a little bit lower. Foot can stay connected to the floor. If there is plenty of work here, leaned back. Shoulders drop from the ears. Three breath cycles here. Core muscles pulling up and in for two more breath cycles. As you finish this exhale, drop the right foot down, stretch these arms up overhead. Exhale, tuck to the left. Inhale, open. Exhale, tuck. Last time here. And step the left leg on out. We find ourselves in a nice wide seated stance here. Pedal those feet, strengthen and stretch through those ankles. 
plant heavy in the hips. Wiggle those knees out, gentle pressure or encouragement from the hands to stay wide. Bring that heart forward, swing yourself to the right. Three spine circles here. Heavy in the hips, working on moving from the core. Beautiful, last one here. Take it to the center and let's go ahead here, bring those feet back in. Pedal them out here, gentle swish through the hands. Drop those arms, inhale, take them up overhead. Exhale three times to the left. Exhale, hold it here. Step that left leg out as you open through that right arm. Finding warrior two here on this side. It could be different than the other side. Things can be different. Great job here, breathe. Drop the shoulders, relax. Beautiful breath in. Exhale, revolve. Inhale through and then exhale, extended side angle. Two more sets. It does not need to be fast here. Take your inhales as you are transitioning between these poses. Exhale here. Swing that left arm down and through as you bring the right foot forward. Sorry, drop the right arm as you bring the right foot forward. Connect those toes. Find that heavy grounding through the hips. Lean yourself back. Left toes lift. Drop the shoulders from the ears. And if you would like a little more work, extend that right leg out also. Core muscles pulling up and in, drop the shoulders, tall through the spine. One more breath cycle here. Lower those feet back down, rise up tall, good deep breath in, exhale, tuck, right leg three times, inhale to open. Stretch it up and open as we again find ourselves in wide-legged position here. Solid through those feet. Lift the heels. Set the heels down. Lift the toes. Stretch them out and open. Bring the heart forward to the left. Three spine circles here, moving from the spine and the core. Try not to shimmy those hips. Great job here. Step just the left foot in, right leg comes up over top. Nice, tall posture here. Stretch that heart forward, working into this hip. Three ankle circles, one direction with this right foot. Three the other way, try to make them nice and big. Plant them here, lean yourself a little bit further down, think chest, to shin, heavy through that left hip. Lift here three times. If it's too much, go ahead, lean yourself up taller. It is going to increase the stretch for this right hip. Drop it on down, bring the heart back up. Take this left arm up and over. You can reach through with that right hand to find that left thigh and take it on down. Give everything a little swish there. We are almost to the end of this practice. You are doing great. And then left leg crosses up and over. Again, sit tall. Find where your perfect hip stretch is. Again, different sides of the body. It could be different here. Three circles, one direction with the ankle. Nice and big. Three the other way. Take the heart forward, keeping height through the spine. Good, feel that connection of the right foot into the floor. Lift, 
three times. You can ease out of it a little bit if you need to. Let this right foot work. Drop it on down, open those arms. Right arm roll, reach up and over to the left. Left hand can grab right thigh, giving you, you a little bit of an anchor point here. Take it on down and relax it on forward. Let's point those toes here to the front. Try not to clench through the arch of the foot. So think about pointing more so with the top of the foot rather than the toes. If we work in those toes, arch of the foot can get a little crampy. Ankle circles here, other direction. Set them down. Let's check in with those core muscles. Inhale, take yourself up nice and tall. Exhale, stretch those hands back. Heart comes forward. And then hands come forward, spine comes back. Arch through here. Fold the hands over into the lap. Take a good, full, deep breath in. And then exhale. Empty it all out as you soften and relax here for three quiet breath cycles. On your next inhale, Hold those hands to the heart, grow the spine nice and tall. Big, beautiful breath in, exhale, bow it forward, namaste. Thank you so much for joining me here today for this yoga practice. Really great way to build standing balance and strength through some of our yoga poses and then continuing some of the work and stretching in a seated position. So if you're working to build that standing exercise and workout strength, great way to do that here today. It's also just a great practice and getting that spine moving, getting those core muscles to show up and help support you, not just through this practice, but through our other workouts and your daily movements. I am honored that you chose to work out with me here today. I will see you guys for the next amazing workout. Of course, it's easier for you to meet me back here if you are subscribed. So do not be shy. Click that subscribe button. It's always free to do so before you head out today. Wonderful practice here today. Again, thank you so much for joining me. Keep taking good care of yourselves and I will see you guys for the next amazing workout.